The gut-brain connection is now being understood in a way we've never known before. And that is that the gut is directly connected to your mood. In fact, most of the serotonin, the feel-good hormone that is produced in the body, is coming from the gut. So that tells us that we're not fixed in how we are dealing with this. We can actually modify our mood by supporting our gut. So the foods that you eat can directly affect your ability to feel good. And this is a new revelation that gives us more power to start to take control of our mood, of our libido, of our ojas, our sense of happiness in life. Our endocrine system is generating over 50 hormones in the body, and they have all kinds of functions, including metabolism. Whereas we know that on an unhealthy gut bacterial environment, we have a lot of imbalance. So let's take a look at some of the key hormones that are present in our body. We all know about cortisol. Cortisol is what actually helps the body naturally relax but it's known as a stress hormone because it's often released during times of stress. And what it does is it mobilizes the sugar in our body. And so it makes you want to crave even more sweetness, even more sugar. So consider how rampant stress is in your life. We can take a look at the cortisol and see how you're doing with that. Estrogen is known as a female hormone, but it's also in males and it's produced in puberty as well as menstruation. It's responsible for bone health as well as your mood. And it's often recirculating in the body based on an enzyme that's called beta-glucuronidase that's responsible to help convert it and release it from the body. Testosterone, we know, is that male hormone but also found in females. And it's responsible for that feeling of vitality and good, strong muscle mass. Conditions like leaky gut and unhealthy bacterial cell wall component can actually result in an inflammatory response, thereby lowering the testosterone in the body. There's also leptin, which is a gut hormone that helps increase insulin sensitivity. It signals the brain when it's time to stop eating and is responsible for appetite control and weight management. So all of these hormones are stemming from the gut and are rooted in the gut. Melatonin is a sleep hormone that signals when it's time to rest. And this hormone is responsible for the conversion of serotonin via the amino acid tryptophan, which we often find in our food. So by impacting the body's level of tryptophan, you can actually help support the sleepy hormone melatonin it helps you get good night's sleep and helps you restore your body throughout the night.